Hey dude, everyone, Mike here, Skinny Wood Barbecue. Today, we're gonna to be firing up the Kamado Joe Big Joe 3. We've got a boneless pork butt here from Bob's Family Butchers. And you know I'm gonna be seasoning it with the Blazing Star Reaper Rub and the Porking Rub. I'm gonna be cooking a little bit higher temp than I normally would. We're gonna be doing 275, going all the way through. Um, I wanna eat it tonight, not tomorrow. So I'm gonna kinda of cook it a little bit faster than what I normally would. Normally, I'd be about 225, 250. Um, so let's get started. So just while this is getting fired up, we're just gonna take this out, season it, because I want the seasoning sunk in for about 15, 20 minutes. The way I'll uh, normally do it is I will put the, turn the grill on, turn it on. It's like it's gas. Fire it up with the charcoal. Once they get to about 225 Fahrenheit, I will then put the slow roller lid on because I'm using the slow roller with this then I'll get it up to temperature uh, while this is all the seasoning sinking into this we'll get it up to temp and then we'll uh, we'll get cooking so all I'm going to do with this is just take off a few of the stringy the stringy bits that aren't really going to be nice to eat Just a very, very quick light trim with this. I want to keep this fat because it's all soft. I want to keep this fat on here because I want it to render down within the cook. Just take away the little silver skin bits there. That's good for me that side. Just going to trim a little bit of hard fat along here. We're just going to trim this bit down. Take this, in fact, to take this whole piece off. Always trim your fat off as well, guys, when you've got it nice and cold just out the fridge. And just take this bit off here. There you go, I'm happy with that. Now, first of all, we're gonna be using the Reaper Rub, Blazing Star Reaper, to give it that nice heat that this brings. Now, this is a big piece of meat, so I'm gonna go quite, what's gonna look quite heavy with this rub, because I want that fiery, sweet heat that this brings. You can see it already sinking into this meat. It's absorbing this rub, which is exactly what I want it to do. So that's it with the Reaper. We're now gonna come back with this now and put some pork and spice on it. We're gonna give a nice big coating of this as well. In fact, Let's not beat around the bush. Let's just pour it on. Making sure we get all the sides. I am not being shy with this in any way, shape or form. I don't know if you can see this on the video, but it's already coming up some gorgeous mahogany color. And that's it. You can smell that weeper rub. Just smells amazing. Um, and then we've got that now. We'll rest that for another 10 minutes. The grill's almost there. We're gonna throw some apple wood with the Kamado Joe Big Block Charcoal. And uh, let's get ready to uh, put this on.
Who says you can't barbecue in all weather? Yeah, it's uh, it's not nice. But let's see what we're doing. So we've had it rested. It's literally, you can see here, it's just gonna fall apart. But we're gonna get it out, get it sourced up, pour that sauce all over the, the pork butt, and then we're gonna get it back on for 10, 15 minutes, and then we're gonna get cracking. So we're on, we've had the sauce warming up. I'm gonna do something a little bit silly. I'm gonna stick a finger in. I wanna create some pockets because I want the sauce to kind of get into the meat as well. So just two little pockets, fingers went through that so easily. And then we're just gonna pour. Let's not be gentle with it, let's just get it on. Give it a little brush, make sure we get the exterior covered. Got those pools of sauce just oozing out, which is exactly what I want. And there we go. Let's give that another 15 minutes. Can't wait to get into this. So we've got some of the Blazing Star original barbecue sauce. We've just got it in a pot on the Big Joe 3. Just kind of warming up a little bit. And then we're gonna just test temperature wise. 199, 200. Two oh six over here, two oh seven. So we're kind of it's just like absolute butter. Slightly cooler in the air. Uh, the center. Two oh one, two oh two. Yeah. We're gonna pull this off, we're gonna get it rested, then we're gonna get it into a pan, and then we're gonna smother it with sauce. Test now to see just how easy this falls apart putting that sauce in the middle was a good idea wife's not happy a bit of pulled pork just flopped on the floor the smoke ring on this is perfect gorgeous color that apple would 100% with pork still raging hot after the rest period and the two sets of gloves are just not helping. So we're gonna do a taste test and you know that I wanna try and get some pork with some of that bark. It's really hot. Probably gonna burn my face. That's the winner. Reaper and pork in rub. And the barbecue sauce. So I cut that video, that, that clip a little bit short, but the balance between the Reaper rub and the pork in rub, God, I look like crap on this as well. That's what happens when you're doing the garden over the weekends and you're cooking. But um, no, it's just that you get the nice kind of sweet heat balance between the pork in and the reaper rub. And that reaper rub just keeps on giving a little bit. Um, and then that barbecue sauce, I think poking a couple of holes in the pork and putting the sauce into it as well as was a winner. But uh, I'm off to enjoy my dinner. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, ring the bell as well. I'm on Instagram where I post content almost daily, but uh, have fun.